Indian two-wheeler space is of course one of the fastest growing and one of the largest markets in the world and yet many analysts will tell you that the true potential of it is yet to be arrived at. Within that we've seen the customer also now giving you a lot more preference for bigger CC bikes. There's also a wider variety of products and perhaps that's where the potential truly lies and today we have uh, the arrival of yet another new brand in the country at a time when of course it's not just the economy but also the Indian automobile space that is looking to severely ramp up in 2015. Joining me are two gentlemen who represent DSK Benelli. We've got uh, Shirish Kulkarni from the DSK Group in Pune and uh, also with us is George Wong who is uh, the director of the board at Benelli. Good to have both of you. Thank, Thank you, you, for, Thank you. Uh, for joining us. Uh, I'm going to start off by asking you first Shirish about uh, this foray with yet another new brand because in the motorcycle space as I mentioned there has been um, almost a we've been waiting for, for the big thing to happen we're starting to see that shift now so do you think this is good timing for you absolutely it's a great timing because uh, there were so many manufacturers present already in the market more importantly the market is being educated so that's that's very important I remember three years ago when uh, we just started off uh, with the Korean brand uh, it was difficult to explain people as to why superbikes exist and why the pricing. But today, it's, that's not the case. You know, people just ac are accepting it. You know, as long as you have a good product and, uh, of course, backed up by a good brand, it's becoming easier by the day. Uh, this kind of acceptance that we see, uh, George, that's obviously what excites you about the Indian market. But from your perspective, what what is the kind of promise that the Indian market holds? Uh, actually, India India economy increase very stable. And uh, more and more people have the potential, have the power to, to ride the high-performance motorcycles. So at the moment, uh, uh, India market is a little bit smaller than China. But I believe in the recent uh, several years, could be the world uh, the number one. This is absolute no question. And this is reason that uh, from our group, India market is the, the top important market for us. So this is the reason that we have big expectation to develop our business with the DSK Group together to extend our business here. For Benelli as a brand, of course, there's a, there's a huge history. But today, what is the kind of expectation you have for, for its growth? Uh, India, of course, is one, one part of that. But, but globally, how do you see the brand growing? Uh, uh, after our group, Tianjian Group, uh, purchased uh, Benelli company, uh, this brand, we extend a lot of countries, even more than before, uh, Benelli controlled by Italian family. So uh, not only the, so our strategy is that not only the, uh, the niche, for the niche market, but also for the, uh, the high volume uh, segment. So this is our group strategy to let Benelli become more and more famous, to let more and more people and have the capacity to use this motorcycle. Sharish, the point you made is a valid one about how customers today are more accepting and, and, and a lot more welcoming when it comes to new products, new brands. But uh, traditionally in India, when you say superbike, of course the segment was niche and the, you know people would associate it with the Hayabusa. That was always the mental image. How do you move away from that? How do you take a brand that is relatively unknown and, and sort of cash in on the interest that still lies there? I think the advantage uh, with Benelli here is that uh, history, you know, the legacy that exists. So all you have to do is, you know, introduce them to that history, and I think then it's going to be quite simple for, uh, you know, for us to take it forward from there. Because many times what happens is, although you are an old brand, but the kind of history and the legacy that Benelli has, it's it's quite unique. Not many people, or not many brands, would have that, you know. So that's that's a clear advantage. So I believe that, you know, once we introduce them to that, of course. It's an exercise that we need to follow towards the customers as well as to, to take them forward there, in the, you know, like you know, place it in the showrooms, make sure that uh, you know we uh, we sort of expose them to all all that is there, and I think that is going to be the key. Once they look at it, once they you know sort of uh, get that ownership value, it's going to be quite simple uh, thereon. You know, so that's that's that that is going to be my key objective, uh, you know, into this. Fair enough, I think that's a valid point too. Uh, George, I have to ask you, yeah. uh, unlike some of the other brands which have entered India, you have chosen to come in with a partner. Mm -hmm. uh, what advantages do you see? Why did you feel that you needed to come in with a partner and not independently? Uh, actually, this is uh, one kind of the important uh, uh, strategy of our group because different countries have different culture. 
And uh, if we enter this market first, we must uh, supply the exactly product uh, which the market, which the consumers need. I think DSK Group is our the, the, the best partner to cooperate because they give us a lot of consultant. They give a lot of help. They give a lot of ex, uh, uh, effort, ex, uh, support to our group in order to uh, uh, produce the, the product which exactly fit this market. So we think to cooperate with a partner, the local partner is extremely important. Do you think it was also important to have more than one product at the start yeah. and not start with one and build it up? Because we've seen that with some of, some of the other bikes coming in, it's always now a larger portfolio approach. Do you think that's important in India to have more than one product at the start? Uh, I think uh, uh, because uh, uh, Benelli is still a newcomer uh, for this market. This is reason that uh, step by step to know, to give the best service, to convince our clients in the beginning is very important. Other work will finish automatically step by step. All right, fair enough. Do you, you, you think that's key as well to have a wider portfolio and not just one product at the start? Yeah, I mean, I, I would uh, like to put it this way that uh, we did think about, you know, how starting with a small portfolio, maybe just maybe two or three products to introduce with. But then we realized that, you know, all the products that, you know, that we've introduced, of course, the 899 and the 1130, you know, these two are, well, they have stood the test of time. So they need to be here. They are our flagship models. But at the same time, the 600s and the 300, they are there. That's where, you know, the dealers are actually going to earn the money and well, it's, it's a business cycle and we have to make sure that, you know, we are, uh, we are present there. Because business for me is not only about selling a motorcycle, but, you know, to make, make sure that my dealers as well as the consumers at the end, you know, they are happy. And one way to keep a dealer happy is to give him more and more products to sell. And, and the best way to keep a consumer happy is to make sure that there are more dealers so that the service network and everything else is taken care of. So for us, it was important that, you know, we go out with the maximum possibility. And so far, we found out that these five bikes are the best suited today. Of course, uh, Benelli has got more to offer. They've got more products to come in. And uh, hopefully within this year, you should, you know, we would be able to introduce a few more of them. So that, that's actually a fairly aggressive approach because if you're saying within this year, that's, that's pretty much the year of launch. Um, we've also seen that kind of a response from the market. So... It's important to be visible and, and be active like that in India as yeah. well, isn't it? Yeah, it is, absolutely. I mean, uh, well, it's, uh, you know, like this is how my father puts it, you know, when you are cooking uh, a roti uh, on the pan, if you're not going to rotate it, it's going to burn. So that's the cycle has to continue. You know, if, if, you're, if, the, if the manufacturer is not going to supply with more and more products, literally on you know, a quarterly basis, especially in the two-wheeler segment, it's not going to survive. Simple as that. So that strategy of that, you know, this model is what we are adopting and we are fortunate that Benelli has got that much to offer us. So I think it's, it's going to be great.